Hi, this is Maria from Crochet A to Z, and welcome to the channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please push that subscribe button. And if you have, I want to thank you. I want to thank everyone for being here. And also push the like button because it does help get the algorithms out there. So everyone that's interested in learning crochet or does crochet can find this channel. So today I want to wish you a happy Thursday. I hope everyone is having a great day. Today I want to show you this block. Isn't it beautiful? It's a lightly textured. It looks really intricate if you can see the way the stitch is. And this is what makes it lightly textured. And this is block number 21. If you have not started these blocks and want to do them, it's not too late. You do these at your own pace. These blocks, you can use all of them or some of them for whatever crochet afghan you want to make. You can use three or four of the different ones. You can use all of them. That's totally up to you. You can make your own beautiful afghan creation. You can also, if you wanted to make the blocks all the same, you could do that in different colors. It doesn't really matter. This is a take along pattern, so you can make these blocks on the go. And the only time it will be hard to take it along is when we put it together. So this is called the kernel stitch. K-E-R-N-E-L stitch. Just like, I guess, a kernel of corn and it's really really pretty and lightly textured and it's the same on both sides so let's get started with all of these blocks i am using a eye hook i'm all which is a 5.50 millimeter nine size nine hook i'm also using all the same yarn so this particular yarn is Premier Yarn, which I am really loving Premier Yarn. I've bought a lot of it as of late, and I really do love it. I love the texture. I love everything about it. I love the fact that they also test it for chemicals, and it's chemical-free of a lot of chemicals, so it's really, really interesting. So if you've never worked with Premier, please check it out. For today's tutorial, I am going to use this yarn it is a lion brand anti-pilling dusty rose color yarn this is a gray so i'm going to show you just how easy this is to make beginner to advanced everyone in between and everyone before so if you've never crocheted before no worries you can get along and you can learn these beautiful stitches with no problem at all so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a slip knot. I want to also mention when you make this, make it all with the same hook, the same hook size. You want to do that. You don't want to change hooks in between. You always want to use the same hook. I use an eye hook. So once we do our slip knot, we're going to chain One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two. 23, 24, 25, and lastly, 26. 26 chains. And these are your chains. They look like little Vs. This is your working chain, not considered a chain. It's just your working stitch. And at the end is your slip knot, not considered a chain. So once we do that in the second chain from the hook, this is your working chain. So, and we get your hook is one two in that second chain you're going to make a single crochet 
Now what you're going to do is once you make your single crochet, you're going to insert your hook in this same stitch right in here and you're going to pull up that loop. You have two loops on your crochet hook. Once you do that, you're going to go into the next chain and you're going to pull up a loop. Once you do that, you're going to yarn over and you're going to get this and pull it through all three of these. And there's your first stitch. So now we're going to do the next stitch and we're making our kernel stitches. So we're going to go in where we did that last loop where we finished off and went through all three loops. We're going to go into that one. We're going to go in there and we're going to pull up that loop. Then we're going to go into the next one and pull up that loop. We're going to yarn over and pull through all three. And we're going to do this right across. So you're going to go back into the loop that you just came out of, or should I say the chain you just came out of, and you're going to pull up a loop. You're going to go in the next one, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through three. Again, in that same stitch that you just came out of, you're going to pull up a loop. You're going to go into the next one. You're going to pull up a loop. You're going to yarn over and pull through three. And we're going to do this straight across. You're, want, you're going to want to go into each one that you just came out of and then the next stitch over and you'll always have three on your hook and you're going to pull right through. And again, you're going to go through all three loops. So here we go again into the next chain. Pull up that loop and go through all three loops. And again, we're going to go into this stitch, pull up a loop, go into the next chain, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through three, go back where we finished that last stitch, pull up a loop, go into the next one, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through three. And this is what it looks like, but wait till I show you what the back end looks like. So now we're going to go back in here, pull up that loop, go into the next stitch, pull up that loop, yarn over, pull through three. So we're going to just continue this right across. And this is the kernel stitch. Again, we're going to go right in back in there, pull up that loop, go back into the next one, pull up that loop, yarn over. We're going to get this and pull through all three. Going to go in here, pull up a loop, go into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three. You're going to go, always remember to go into the stitch that you had worked and always do that before you get your three loops. And we're going to, again, do this right across. I go slow. You can write it down. You can follow along with me. And again, beginner to advanced. Everybody in between. Anybody that's not picked up a crochet hook. I try to make these uh, tutorials um, very visual 
so that you can learn all of these at any level. And you got one stitch remaining. We're going to work that one too. Now I want to show you, this is what the front looks like. Watch what the other side looks like. Isn't that pretty? Look at, put it this way. Can you see? It's like little kernels. So now we're going to chain one. We're going to turn our work and in this very first stitch we're going to put a single crochet. That single crochet counts as nothing. So now what we're going to go is we're going to go back in there, pull up a loop, go back in the next one, pull up a loop. You're going to yarn over and pull through three and we're going to do this right across so now you're going to go right back where you made that last stitch pull up that loop go into the next stitch pull up yarn over pull through three what's going to happen is you're going to do and i just want to show you you're going to do a total of 30 rows from 30 rows so you're going to do 30 rows across until you are done so this is row one and this is row two and you can tell row one and two because there's row one right here if you turn this around this is your work in row two so you've got your kernel here you turn this around and there's your kernels are made. But when you finish this, either side is visually the same. It's just a really, really pretty stitch. And extremely easy to make. And we're going to just do this until we have 30 rows made so if you want to write it down as you go along say this was row one with working row two you can write it down so that you know how many rows you're on or what row you're on or you can do easily count one two or if you want to count there we go right there there's your other row right there that's two Whatever way makes it easy for you. So again, you're going to go in here, pull up that loop, go into the next one, pull up that loop, yarn over, get this, and pull right through. And we're going to continue this right across. And this is a repeat over and over again until you get the to the size of your block and you have 30 rows now if you want to make an afghan with this a baby blanket with this you can 
you can follow the same directions and just work it over and over again. And we're going to just go right across. So we're going to go right in here. And if you forget, and I just want to show you, say you didn't go in here when you're supposed to, and you just go into the next stitch and you do this, you're going to be able to tell because there's a, a bigger space in here. That means you did not go into this again. So that's okay. See right here? That was where your last stitch was right here. So you want to always make sure you go into that first and then the next one. And again, and it's really, really pretty. This is a four weight yarn, medium four weight. If you wanted to use a heavier weight yarn to make this, you can, because if you wanted to make something else, an afghan with it and use a heavier weight yarn, yes, you can. Again. And you never want to forget that last stitch. So you never want to forget that last stitch. Because then if you do and you skip it, it's going to be an uneven, you know, at the end, it's going to be very uneven. And there it is. I'm going to pull it up close. Let's turn it around. So now we're going to do row three. You're going to chain one, counts as nothing. You're going to turn your work. And in this very first stitch, you're going to make a single crochet. And what that does is it makes a nice border too. Then once you do that, you're going to go back in there again. You're going to pull up that loop. You're going to go into the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through three. And we're going to just keep doing this over and over again until your block is made. You're going to do this over and over again until your block is made. That's what it looks like. It's really, really a pretty, pretty stitch. And the blocks are about nine and a half inches. And some of them might have to be blocked. And I'll show you that when we're finished with this. And again, we're going to go back where we did our last stitch and go across. And they will be fine because if some of the blocks may need to be blocked, and I will show you how to do that as well. And we're going to just do this right across. And this is block number 21. And it is called the kernel stitch block. Again. And once you get used to this, it's nothing to, to do. You just again. And you're going to see us go right across and again.
and never forget this is where we made our last stitch so you're going to go right back where you made your last stitch and go in here in the next stitch again pull up a loop go into the next stitch pull up a loop yarn over go through all three loops I go slow you can follow along you can write it down and yes you can learn these stitches whether you're new to crochet one day an hour ago it doesn't matter everyone can learn these stitches that is my goal that you can all learn these stitches and again if you wanted to make the block you can but if you wanted to make an afghan with just this pattern absolutely and now we're at the end we're going to go back in there again pull up that loop go in here that last stitch pull up that loop yarn over pull through all three loops now this is row three row one row two row three i'll pull it up close so you can see it row one row two and row three then again we're going to chain one and turn our work around in this first stitch never miss it single crochet then you're going to go back in here and pull up a loop you're going to go into the next stitch pull up a loop yarn over pull through all three and we're going to continue this process until you finish your block or until you finish your afghan or until you finish your scarf whatever baby blanket whatever you're making with this kernel stitch let me always remember the trick to this stitch is that you always go back into that last spot where you made that stitch and begin your process to finish off the next stitch. And this is row number four. And you will do this over and over again until you finish your block which your block will have 30 rows and then what you will do is you will border your block and with block number one part two I showed you how to border all of these blocks they're all bordered the same they're all going to be made the same and I will just go over that when I'm finished with this row again you're gonna always make sure you have two on your hook and then you're gonna go into the next one and it's just gonna be easier and easier as you go along you won't even have to really It's just a really, it's a fun stitch to make. And the end result is so pretty that you say to yourself, wow, that's really, because it looks so intricately made when you go to look at it. And it's just so easy. We're coming to the end. And we still have one stitch left at the end right here. So 
we're going to go back in here like we did all the other stitches. We're going to pull up that loop, go in that last one, pull up that loop. We have three on our hook. We're going to yarn over. We're going to go through all three and then you will chain one again and continue your process. And this is four rows, row one, row two, row three, row four. And it's just, let me turn it around. It's just so pretty. And this is what it looks like. Isn't that pretty? Now I want to mention that when you're done, you have to do the same thing. Just want to show you that. When you're done, you've got to do the same thing that you do with all these blocks. And I'll show you what I mean. So let me just do this like this. Let me get out a little bit. In each corner of the blocks, you're going to put three single crochets in each corner. On the top, the bottom, and the sides, you will put 25 single crochets. You space them out until you have 25. Three in each corner, single crochets, 25 single crochets on the top, the bottom, and the sides. And that finishes off the, the block. So at the end of the day, we can put all of these together. And there it is right there. I just wanna show it to you. Isn't that pretty? It's just such a pretty block. Some of these blocks may have to be blocked. Isn't that, um, some of these blocks may have to be blocked. Some may not. Now this one is pretty much, probably don't have to block it. I might have to block it maybe a little bit, maybe not by the looks of it. I don't have to. So some of them may have to be blocked and I will show you how to do that so that they all come into that nine and a half size. And this is what your blocks will look like when you're done. You'll do them over and over again with those sides being the three single crochets in each corner or in the 25 single crochets on all the sides from top to bottom all the way around so that you'll have three single crochets in the corners and 25 across the top and the bottom and the sides on each side. And that's what it'll look like. And I just wanna pull this up so you can see it a little bit better. I wanna kind of pull it so that you can, I want you to pull it so you can see the stitches themselves. See how pretty they are? And they look all almost twisted but that happens when you go from the one and you go in from the last one that you just made and then go into the another one and then you put them together. Um, it just makes that really interesting pattern that is slightly, slightly, has a slight texture to it. Let me put this up too so that you can see both of them together. So this is block number 21 the kernel stitch block. This is Maria from Crochet A to Z. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you. Have a great day. Have a great evening. Bye-bye. Love you all.